Hey, we finally made it. The camper's done. We, uh, Darren and his wife have been out camping in it a few times. And uh, in this video, we're gonna show you the process that we took to build this thing from scratch. So we're really excited. Hope you stick around and uh, see how we did this. If you are just now tuning in, uh, be sure to look at our first video of how to build the trailer frame. And that one, we literally built it from scratch. And so if you're looking to build a uh, trailer for a camper or for anything, uh, take a look at that video. Uh, like he said in this video, uh, uh, just a little bit of how to uh, do a few things. But our next video, which is live right now, be sure to look for that. It's a full walkthrough of this camper. And so we'll show you uh, what we did, what we didn't do, what we wish we would have done, uh, now that we've used it a few times. And so I'll also tell you a few upgrades I plan to make in a few months ahead. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'd love to help in any way we can. We know there's not a ton of detail in the video itself, but we'd love to help uh, in that way. And while you're there, be sure to look for those two links. The first link is gonna be an Excel sheet uh, I compiled of every item I purchased for this camper. Now, a few things will say nuts, bolts, screws, and you know you don't need to know that, but it does help you know how much I spent overall. This camper was about $4,300, and so you can easily do it for about $2,500. You can easily do it for 10 grand, uh, but this gives you an idea of what you're looking to spend. Uh, this was, uh, what, pre-COVID expenses? Yeah. <laughs> so lumber has skyrocketed since then, so do take that into account. The second link is gonna be the Facebook group uh, that inspired this build. Uh, it's a DIY teardrop community. Uh, that link is there. Join that group, take a look. Awesome resource, friendly crew. Uh, watch the rules, and uh, it'll be a, a group that will help you uh, build the camper you wanna build. Let's build it. This, uh, this actual frame is eight foot by five foot, and so we've got about two foot left here. This space in the back is gonna become the kitchen. The reason we're framing this is so that we can insulate in the center with some foam board insulation, and then we'll put a piece of uh, thin plywood over the top to hold the flooring, and that will allow the bed to set in there. So. It's eight foot, so the bed will start here and come, and there will be like 16 inches, right? Right, 16 Six inches in the of front floor space floor for space. shoes yeah. and cabinets up here above the floor space. Dang. Once we get into the side walls, there will be a window kind of like right in here on both sides, and then that door. That door, like about 16 right inches, in there. 18 inches back. And then there will be a big hatch door on the rear that pulls open to the left. Right. As big as we can get it. Big as we can make them. So another reason we're framing the floor is because when we use the walls and attach them to the side, without this frame, we only have a half inch to glue it to. But by adding the two by threes, we gain inch and a half of uh, surface to glue to, which will make it more secure. We got the frame made. We're cutting out some insulation to fill in there and then we'll get the floor put down on top. So making some great progress. We did all this in about an hour and a half. Well, we're trying to shoot a video here. All right, so we got the inside of that frame uh, insulated and it's nice and flush with the uh, frame on the outside. And we, I don't think we mentioned it earlier, but this frame is uh, the outside of the trailer is gonna be five foot wide by 10 foot long. This, uh, the base is a half inch shorter on all sides. So it's actually 59 inches by um, 119 inches. And that will allow when we put the sides on for them to not uh, overhang on the side here, but to be flush inside the frame. All right, well, we're gonna call it a night here. We got both sides put on uh, in this front piece and uh, we got three of the cross braces. We're doing those every 12 inches on the way back. And then one of them will be spaced 14 inches. That uh, will make room for the exhaust vent fan through the roof. But overall, we're pretty happy with it, right? I think so. <laughs> Darren was a little stressed because this was taking quite a bit longer, but man, this all came together in what? Oh. oh. Four hours and we kind of screwed around a fair bit too, so um, not bad. But our wife's went and got us some ice cream, local place, so 
That was great. Very good. Any words of wisdom? Not a bit. Uh oh. All right, so we just cut the door hole out and uh, we've got our window marked. It's centered between the door and the wall for the galley in the back. And uh, it's 15 by 24, so um, we are going to cut that out. But other than that, we're making some good progress. We got the rest of these roof uh, purlins or whatever they're called in. And uh, we're gonna throw these clamps back on because this glue isn't completely set yet. And then we will cut this window out and then we gotta do the same on the other side. Moment of truth. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Dude, this thing's Perfectly gonna look so sick. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing in there? Oh, just chilling. Oh, can I come in? Ella can. You wanna come in here? What are you doing? You wanna go camping? I'd like to go, neighbor. Who is that? Ella. Hi, puppy. I think we forgot to share. We cut in this little uh, 14 by 14 opening for the, uh, the roof vent and if it'll focus. So that's, uh, that's pretty much at the back of the sleeping area, kind of right there. So be kind of, it'll suck air nicely through these right over your head and out that vent. You just saw us router out those, uh, the windows and the doors. And then if you come around the back, We've been working on the galley. We'll have two drawers here. One big one here. Uh, both of them will be 30 inches wide. Uh, this one will be about 20 inches tall. That will fit up to a 70 quart cooler. We'll have another drawer on top, about three to four inches. Uh, standard drawer uh, depth, uh, so 30 inches wide. And these will remain open. Uh, 10 pound propane tank, sleeping bag, paper towels, whatever. Uh, and we'll have a Butcher's block on top here. We're back at it a few days later. We've been pretty terrible at filming, but I just want to get you caught up. Um, we got a ceiling. We got this ceiling put in there. This is a five millimeter. It's made for underlayment. Um, we got it at Home Depot. It's like $13 a sheet. Used uh, basically three sheets for this. We got this uh, angle piece done in here, and there's a little gap there, which we'll cover when we put a cabinet up. Um, and then we got some wiring run. You can see our square hole, that's where the fan's gonna go. And then back there at the top, on the rear of the trailer, there will be brake lights on each side, turn signals and running lights. And so this bundle of wires goes to that. You've got green is your right uh, turn and brake, yellow is your left turn and brake, white to ground, and then uh, brown, we're, we're using black because we didn't have brown, but uh, brown is running lights. So we have those run all the way back to there. And then we've got these, we've got a red and a blue. These are gonna be 12 volt circuits. So two different 12 volt circuits. And then two grounds for each of those. One will go to um, the fan and the light combo that'll go in the center. And then the, uh, the other circuit, there'll be some USB ports in the back and lights for the kitchen area. And then we've got this 14-2 uh, uh, Romex. If I can get down. And in the back, we've also made quite a bit of progress. We got this butcher block uh, mounted up here. All this stuff's just been wood glued on. So the ceiling, we wood glued it to all the cross members and then there's like five uh, staples in each cross member all the way across. So that's how we did that. And then we made these drawers. This one will fit a cooler. And as you can see, um, they are soft clothes, pretty nice. And then this one is uh, just a big drawer to put stuff in. So uh, we still have to do the back wall and the roof, but for now, I am going to work on putting a little cabinet in the bottom corner there where all that wiring is gonna run down the wall and then the this electric panel will have a 12 volt side on the left, 120 volt side on the right. We already got breakers and stuff, so I'm gonna build a little box for that and get that put in there. All right, got that little box made, got it mounted in there and mounted the electric panel. 
see if you can kind of tell all those. Um, I put in some bracing up here to help hold the cabinets that we're going to build. And then I braced around the outside so that front wall will have something solid to mount onto. But those wires are coming down into there. And we're uh, making some great progress. So we're uh, doing some wiring here. We're going to hook up both of these outlets, get the USB ports and the lights wired up, put the cabinets in. And then we're going to test all the electrical system before we put the roof on so that we know that we don't have to get back in here. So we're cutting out the back door which uh, we're actually gonna make the whole door ourselves because they're real proud of them online. And so we got the, the template laid out and we just made our first cut. We're gonna make another cut over here and then we'll cut the top and the bottom. And then we'll, be en we'll end up with a frame which will mount into the camper. And then this piece will be our door. And uh, we'll have to cut that down a little bit too because we need to put seals and stuff in there. But um, we got the locks, the hinges, everything's here, so we should be able to knock this out pretty quick. All right. We made a ton of progress. You can kind of tell the roof is on. Oh, sorry for the rain noise. We've got the back wall. All right, we went ahead and took it off the frame to give you a better look at the roof. Yep, that's why we did that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we could have easily just uh, stood on a ladder. But uh, we got the roof on there. These uh, are gonna be tail lights and turn signals on each side. Got a switch with some LED strips in there. I think we showed you the outlets and the USBs and whatnot. And we got that cabinet mounted up front. So, and then we cut that hole, which I think we'll show you that later. But what do you think about this low profile? You wanna get some like six inch wheels? Yeah, it's just going to be a low rider with airbags and uh, enter it in some, some car shows. Sounds like a deal to me. No, but for real, we uh, took it off the frame because <laughs> we were going to fiberglass the exterior. Um, and everyone says it's much easier to do a horizontal surface instead of a vertical one. So we're going to do the horizontal surface and then we're going to actually roll the camper, uh, the whole thing, and do it so that all the sides are horizontal when we fiberglass them. And uh, when we roll it and destroy it completely, we'll be sure to make sure you see that in this video. But, but hopefully... We'll, we'll insure it first. We'll, so, yeah, we'll yeah. get our insurance on it first and then we'll roll it around in the yard. So as you can tell, this is the left side or the driver's side and we're going to fiberglass that first. So we just rolled it onto the passenger side so that we can do it flat. Super easy. So we finished with the driver's side or left side of the camper. Uh, it went faster than we thought. So that's great. First time doing it. Uh, so we'll let it dry we'll come back and cut off the edges here. We let it set overnight and uh, this is how it finished. So it's pretty smooth. A uh, few places you can definitely still see the texture. Uh, so we're gonna add another coat so that way it's all nice and smooth like fiberglass should be. All right, just finished the second coat of resin on the driver's side or the left side. It is uh, nice and smooth. We went ahead and applied resin to every single screw all along here and along um, the wood and the, where the two pieces come together all the way all the way across the bottom all the way back there and uh, up the middle there and so um, it's pretty solid uh, once this stuff hardens um, every screw hole will be waterproof uh, this is the side that you've seen this do already and we we're planning to do the other side today and then to do the top two coats uh, tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening um, but this is still a little tacky. It's actually about 70 to 75 here today, and we expect it to be about 95 to 100. A little cool front, 
and I ordered the stuff that would cure slowly so that way we would have time to work in the heat uh, but we have a cold front so now it's actually curing really slowly but can't predict the weather um, certainly not three weeks in advance and so we'll do this side um, either tomorrow night or Sunday so we're going to start on the top uh, top and the front and a little bit of the back actually So we've done about 95 to 98 percent of the top we're going to save that last bit uh, back there for when we do the back wall and back door uh, and we did this front angled piece with the squeegee but up on the front it is 100 percent vertical and so we're going to have to brush it uh, it's way too fast for us to use the squeegee it would just all pour into the floor there so josh how's it going oh this sucks well i'm just kidding <laughs> It's going. It's a lot better than we thought though, right? Yeah. So I'm just glad that we we didn't brush the whole thing for the first coat. Oh yeah, we would probably still be doing the side here. Well, my hands are still sticky, but that means we've had a successful day of fiberglassing. And as you can tell, it's super shiny, which is the way you can tell if it's a professional job is how shiny it is. <laughs> I would say we nailed it, probably like a 9.7 out of 10. And uh, yeah, so we got um, top, front, back, and then the driver's side done with two coats. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna do the passenger side. We also got this, uh, this is the back galley door. This is one coat. We'll knock that out uh, tomorrow, do the other side. And uh, we're doing two coats on this one. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. So another coat on this. But we're moving right along. We're hoping to, so tomorrow's Saturday, so we're going to get up early, do that other side, second coat on that, and hopefully it's dry so that we can sand and paint on Sunday. So we did sand and paint on Sunday. Uh, we also did a few other things, like finish it entirely, go camping a few <laughs> times, uh, store it for the winter, and, uh, you eight know. Eight months later. Yeah, just eight months later, yeah. no big deal. <laughs> Life happens. Uh, we are not professional YouTubers. And so uh, we're fully honest. There's no ads in this. Yeah. Uh, at least we we're not going to we're not gonna pay for it. it. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to film a little bit. Uh, we're sorry. So we know we kind of failed on the filming of the ending part, but uh, be sure to check in the link in the description for an Excel sheet. It has links to all the windows and doors along with pricing and some of those finishing touches that uh, Darren and his wife did while my wife and I were out of town. So they painted, stained, um, finished up some lighting stuff, wiring, and then we added some lights on the trailer, which we'll show you in the next video. So be sure to check that one out. It's live right now. It's a full in-depth walkthrough. Things we did, things we didn't do, things we wish we did, and, and some things that we are going to do still. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for joining us.